Luckily, we have the CAD model of the existing vehicle, so we hardly ever need to go out to the workshop to measure anything. And this is really helpful to design the changes we have to do to the vehicle. The most obvious change on the vehicle is probably the battery compartments. We have four compartments, there are um, two on each side. This is probably the most difficult change we have to make because there will be a lot of weight in those boxes. The battery weighs around 500 kilograms. So we can look at them in more detail, how they are attached. We have two different systems. There is the rear box. Uh, it is welded to the main frame of the vehicle, the central structure. It has two bits that are welded onto this pipe. This is 10 millimeter steel pipe. We also did some strength analysis where we could visualize the tensions on all these metal components to make sure this will hold even 10 times the load of the batteries in the worst case. So here we have the battery compartment just by itself and then we can also remove the, the lid and inside we can already see the batteries are placed. This is in total, it's 150 kilograms and the box needs to be able to hold this even under a, a load of 10 Gs. For example, if the car drives through a pothole and there's a, a lot of force going into the car, this box still needs to be held up. I'm actually really new using the CAD, the computer edit design. I, just started about half a year ago to learn it. David studied mechanical engineer, so he was much more proficient. He could teach me a lot. Yeah, we can see now in the simulation that there are certain areas that have a higher stress. You can see the changing color that uh, shows us the th stress in the material. Blue is just no stress at all. And if we go up to red, there we have the maximum stress on the material. We have just one little red point here. It's still okay, but we have to be sure that this is welded just perfect to the vehicle. So we can see the main uh, reinforcement structure of the front battery compartment on the left side. And it basically consists of three bent sheet metal parts. So these can just be lasered out and then bent into the uh, shape we need them. I can pick one of these parts, I can um, export it and then can go to the website. Once I uploaded the part and picked the material I like, I can immediately see how heavy this part is and also, there is a price list where I can pick how many I want and in about 10 days I can have it here if I need it. So I just went to the metal manufacturer who laser cut and bent our parts that we designed. For us it is like Christmas today because we've spent so many weeks designing this on the computer, looking at it a hundred times and now it's finally here in real life. It's going to be a lot of fun to put it all together because all the parts just go together like a Lego. Here, for example, the cabin support beam. This looks like a quite complicated part. It has a lot of bends in and a lot of curves. And then you just take two parts and you can basically just uh, stick them together like this and now it's perfectly uh, ready for welding and everything is in the perfect shape. So one of our cabin support beams we've already finished. It's only tacked together. It's not welded through completely, just a little bit, but we put it in place just to see if it fits. And as you can see, it's a uh, perfect match. Like we put the cabin in place before and this just, um, is right in the, uh, in the place we want it. And it's gonna give us a lot of space for the huge tires we're gonna put on this vehicle. The old beam came out here like this, a lot flatter. And this new one 
leaves a lot of space for massive tires. Big adventure needs big tires. 